Bitka. Estonia's World War I hero who immigrated to Canada. As Canada celebrates its 150th birthday, and Estonia celebrates its 100th birthday, it is particularly fitting to add a chapter to Canada's settlement history of a remarkable Estonian immigrant who became known locally as Sir John. He was actually Estonia's World War I hero, Rear Admiral of the Estonian Navy, Sir Johann Bitka. He had fought against the Bolsheviks alongside the British Navy, and his prowess had been rewarded with the title KCMG, Knight Commander, Order of St. Michael and St. George. As the new independent nation of Estonia's political and economic struggles grew in the early 1920s, Bitka experienced frustrating times in Estonian politics. He needed peace and solace, not strife and disagreements, and, as it happened, he was especially receptive to beckoning calls from Canada. In an interview conducted in the 1980s, Bitka's daughter, Linda Baren, recalls that her father decided to seek a fresh start after experiencing very frustrating times in Estonian politics. On the 10th of March, 1924, Bitka started his journey from Tallinn to Fort St. James, British Columbia. With him came his wife, Lady Helene Marie Bitka, his daughter Linda Baden with her husband Alexander, his daughter Saima, and his sons Edward and Stanley. In all, 16 settlers, some of them military colleagues, left with him in 1924. The group arrived in St. John, New Brunswick, at the end of March 1924. An official from the government of British Columbia in Victoria met them in New Brunswick and accompanied them on the train all the way to Vanderhoof, B.C., the closest railway station to their destination. It took the party another three days with both wagon and sled to get to Fort St. James. The men in Pitka's party left the next day across the ice of Stewart Lake to explore the site of their settlement which turned out to be untouched forest wilderness. The government had provided the group with large tents, which the men erected for immediate shelter. Bitka and Baden chose their sites and made their land claims, 640 acres and 229 acres respectively, at $5 per acre. Soon, the construction of a log house for Bitka's family began. Bitka's two-story house with seven rooms was finished by autumn 1924. After permanent shelter had been provided during the first summer, the colonists had to think seriously about how to make a living. The settlers made brave attempts to provide for themselves, but one failure followed another. Several attempts at farming failed because there were no markets for livestock and agricultural products and no roads on which to transport goods. Bitka's sawmill operation was a successful venture for a time. Gradually, the frustrations in the Estonian colony grew. The promise of a road and railway did not materialize, the market for wood products dried up, and the Great Depression set in. The settlers knew they had to leave. Pitka received word in 1929 that the Estonian government had awarded him a pension. He returned to Estonia a year later, where he was received with great fanfare, 
An honor guard was present, as shown in this photo from the newspaper Esti Pavalecht of April 4, 1930. Pitka ended up staying in Estonia. His wife and youngest son, Stanley, joined him that autumn. Edward came the following year, and in 1932, his daughters and their families also returned to Estonia. The last of the settlers left Stewart Lake in 1932. This marked the end of an eight-year-long attempt to establish a thriving settlement in the hostile wilderness at Stewart Lake. But their adventure left a legacy of place names to this day. Pitka's daughter, Saima, lists several. A decade after Pitka's return, World War II began. Knowing what dangers were looming, he urged his family to escape. He perished in 1944, fighting for his country. His wife and daughters, with husbands, reached Sweden safely and returned to Canada in 1948. Estonia has honored Pitka in many ways since its renewed independence of 1991, and his life in Canada has also been celebrated in a special way. On August 3, 2009, a monument to Rear Admiral Sir Johan Pitka was erected with the generous support of individuals and various agencies. As Canada and Estonia celebrate their respective birthdays, both can commemorate the bravery and leadership of the pioneering hero affectionately known as Sir John.